Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Chris here, and today we are going to do a cigar review from a uh, one of the boxes that my uh, my nephew Alex brought me uh, home for Christmas. Uh, he came in from Fort Lauderdale, Florida, and uh, was nice enough to bring me two boxes of cigars uh, for Christmas time. So this is one of them, and uh, I'll do a review of the other one here shortly as well. Um, this box of cigars is called the El Mago Miami uh, Art Deco, uh, Deco Edition. And uh, I just thought it was a cool looking box and uh, the description sounded pretty interesting. And um, so that's the reason why I got it. But um, cigar itself is, is pretty, pretty amazing um, uh, after uh, sampling it. So uh, anyway, let's uh, get into it. It was um, it was named after the CEO's uh, grandparents, um, Maria and Gonzalo uh, Torres, and you can see a picture of them here. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit here for you. That's them uh, in Miami, in front of uh, one of the uh, hotels or apartments they owned uh, back in the day, and. Um, the brand itself uh, was established in 2021 um, with uh, with a bit of a tragedy. Um, unfortunately, uh, his grandparents had passed away uh, in June of uh, 2021 in Miami, Florida. Um, you may have heard uh, of it on the news back then, but the uh, Champlain uh, Towers um, had uh, collapsed and uh, had killed a bunch of people uh, in the, those apartment blocks. And uh, um, his grandparents were among the, uh, the unfortunate people who passed away. So he started the brand, uh, the El Mago um, cigar brand. And uh, like I said, his grandparents' name were Maria and Gonzalo. So you can see Maria and Gonzalo. So this is how the name of the brand was established. Um, I'll show you a bit of it inside here. Uh, this is the this is the look of it inside. It's pretty pretty cool. There are limited uh, edition cigars. I don't think they're that hard to find, but they're very um, you know, just an interesting looking box. Yeah, it's even got Canada on here, so that's pretty cool. Um, so anyway. Uh, they are a Toro size cigar. Uh, I'll show you here, they come in these tubes. This. And it's a Toro cigar, six inches by 52 inch ring gauge. They are um, made in Nicaragua. And um, it is a medium strength cigar. Uh, like I said, they're handmade. The wrapper is in cellophane and in these tubes to protect them and to maintain uh, the freshness on the cigar. Um, the wrapper itself is uh, Ecuadorian Habano wrapper. Uh, natural color uh, wrapper as well. Uh, the filler is a broadleaf and the binder itself is from Nicaragua. Um, the tasting profile on these cigars um, even just the smell of it, you can like when I smelled them at first, I thought, "Wow, am I smelling a uh, a Cuban cigar like um, like a Monte Cristo or a, a Cohiba or something like that?" Because they smell a lot like these cu um, um, Cuban cigars that I've got. Um, but uh, yeah, after trying them, they were uh, it's it's almost like smoking a a, uh, um, a Cuban cigar. Uh, it's. Uh, little bit spicy, very, very earthy, um, touch of pepper, mild, let's say mild sweetness to kind of go with the mild strength of it. Um, but it's like, like I said, it's very, 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 uh, Cuban-esque. Um, so if you like Cuban cigars, you probably like these. So, um, there you go. There is the Miami Art Deco edition from El Mago Cigars. Um, Really, really, really appreciate you, uh, you watching. Uh, truly appreciate it if you were to uh, subscribe to the channel. There's a lot more to come. Uh, lots and lots of stuff down the pipe here. Uh, a lot of giveaways, like quite a, quite a few giveaways. You know, like watches, cigars, 
you know, maybe some whiskey samples or whatever, you know, we're going to be doing a lot of reviews on a lot of different things. Um, and just, you know, just a lot of, a lot of cool kind of guy stuff coming up. So, um, and I'm kind of playing with the idea of, um, uh, with the cigar giveaways, maybe putting like a, like a humidor or something like that together to, you know, maybe for, you know, all or most of the cigars, uh, you know, that I've got extras of, um, to put them into kind of a special, um, uh, humidor and do a grand prize, uh, giveaway, you know, at a certain amount of subs or something like that. Uh, let me know if that's something that you might be interested in and, um, and, uh, what cigar, um, I should do, uh, I should do next here. So, uh, appreciate everything. And, uh, like I said, thanks for watching and have yourself a great day. Take care.